Hello there friends, welcome back to Solid Gold Scripture Journals. This is Marcy and this is a place where we share the joy that comes as we study the scriptures. Before we study our scriptures, just a little note to self, don't forget to pray. Just invite the Spirit, invite that you will find things that will help you with your life. Today we're studying Come Follow Me for September 2 to 8. Remember the Lord. This is Helaman 7.12. Nephi's father, Helaman, had urged his sons to remember, remember. He wanted them to remember their ancestors, remember the words of the prophets, and most of all, remember our Redeemer, who is Christ. It's clear that Nephi did remember because this is the same message he declared years later with unwearyingness to the people. Okay, this is not Nephi from the beginning of the Book of Mormon. This is a new guy named Nephi. All of Nephi's efforts, preaching, praying, performing miracles, and petitioning God for a famine were attempts to help the people turn to God and remember him. In many ways, forgetting God is an even bigger problem than not knowing him. And it's easy to forget him when our minds are distracted by the vain things of this world and clouded by sin. But as Nephi's ministry shows, it's not too late to remember and turn unto the Lord your God. I'm going to take this and put it at the beginning of my next week. So I remember to pray before we go into the study. Ooh. That looks like Samuel the Lamanite. Nice. Okay, there's lots of different topics of study here, but I was really drawn to this one. Pondering the Word of God invites revelation. I think that's kind of my mission. Part of my mission with this channel is that we can ponder and we can have personal revelation as we study the scriptures. So let's see what it says here. When you feel downtrodden, anxious, or confused, you might learn an important lesson from Nephi's example in Helaman 10, 2-4. What did he do when he felt cast down in verse 3? Those are two little questions. Sorry, two little sections. So first I'm going to do the reading, and then I'm going to answer the question. Okay, then it says President Henry B. Eyring explained when we ponder, we invite revelation by the Spirit, and how might you create a habit of pondering? All right, that's great. I just want to say there's several different sections and things we can learn. And all I like to do is take a few days each week and just study the parts of the lesson. Some days I have something else I want to study, or maybe I'm teaching Sunday school or seminary and I don't always get to the come follow me. That's why I think it's just important to go through, find something that interests you, get into it. And if you don't get to the whole lesson, there's always next week. Okay, first let me set up my journal and then we'll get into reading Helaman 10, 2 to 4. Here's a few interesting things that it says in Helaman chapter 10, verses 2 to 4. I love that Nephi is walking towards his own house. And as he's walking, he is pondering upon the things which the Lord has shown him. I think that's a fantastic, that is my best time to ponder, is when I go for a walk with my dog. And if I just don't bring my phone and listen to music, I can really get a lot of pondering. I also get a lot of pondering when I'm driving in my car alone and I turn off the radio. And top three is also when I vacuum. It's noisy, but I can't uh, hear music or anything. So I, I'm just alone with my thoughts. I think it's important to have time with our thoughts so that we can receive that personal revelation. And I love that Nephi is showing us that here. 
So what was he pondering? He had a lot on his mind. There was the wickedness of the Nephites, their secret works of darkness, murderings, plunderings, all manner of iniquity. Wow, that is a lot that he would have on his mind. And he heard a voice saying to him, when we ponder and have quiet around us, those are the times when the spirit can speak to us. What did the spirit say to Nephi? He said, blessed art thou Nephi. Um, he says, you have declared the word which I've given the people and you have sought my will and kept my commandments. And he's blessed for that. And the spirit is telling him, the Lord recognizes the things that you have done and appreciates them and is grateful to you. So that's a little bit that we learn in just three short chapters, sorry, three short verses. So I'm going to record those things in my um, journal. I'm going to take my checklist. I read Helaman 10, 2 to 4, check. What did he do when he felt cast down? In verse 3, I wrote, when Nephi felt cast down, he pondered what the Lord had taught him. Then he listened to the voice of the Spirit. I love that. It is a voice that will come into our minds as we're pondering in a quiet time. He listened to the voice of the Spirit, which said, Blessed art thou, Nephi. What a beautiful way for the Lord to say, I've seen what you've done. I, I appreciate you. So we'll check that one off. And then the last question, how might you create a habit of pondering? Well, I am a ponderer, so I will write down what I do. And if I think of more things, I can write them down later. But I walk with no ear pods. I drive with no radio, and that's great. It is a 13-minute drive to and from the church where I teach seminary. So every day I have that time to ponder, you know, before my lesson and after. And also when I vacuum, it's loud, but it's quiet. I can't hear anything else. The Spirit has spoken to me many times when I've been vacuuming. So I do these things as I ponder my issues. I'm going to say as I prayerfully ponder my issues because prayer really helps to bring the spirit and just clarify what it is I'm pondering about. So I'll check that one off too. So there we go. That's it. Short and sweet study for the day. I hope this helps get you started in your study for the week and I hope you find what you need as you study your scriptures and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.